Hey guys, Suryashin here. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. And you guys might be thinking, Tarashin, what happened to you? Where did the videos go? Why didn't you upload for so long? And here's the answer. COVID. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, not really. Uh, the reason why I wasn't uploading is because I was busy with my school projects. I, I was busy with school, basically school. And then also, I don't know what type of content to post since I couldn't do vlogs, I couldn't meet my friends. And, you know, I was in a phase where I really don't know what I'm doing in YouTube. I was like, uh, dude, um, what am I doing? So I was just reconsidering the content I want to post in the channel. I was reconsidering my niche. And yes, I do want to post vlogs, but not right now because of quarantine and stuff. But I also wanted to post about how to edit a video, how to edit a picture, how to use Lightroom, how to use Premiere Pro, how to use different type of apps, different type of stuff about photography, videography, filmmaking and stuff. So without further ado, today's video is about me teaching you guys how to use Adobe Lightroom, whether it's in uh, PC, Mac, your Android, uh, iPhone, whatever device. And before we start guys, I just want to let you guys know that when you edit a photo, there's two type of file type one is called jpeg and one is called raw and what's different between raw and jpeg uh, a very simple thing is uh, raw is a larger file size and jpeg it's a smaller file size if you guys want to know a simple form but what it really means is raw file basically contains all the details and exposures from the sensor of your camera or your camera sensor so if you guys save your, your images as a raw file it contains all the details from the shadows exposure highlights and much more where a jpeg file when you guys take a picture and uh, and save it as a jpeg file it basically compresses the uh, picture and it's a smaller file type but it does not record all of the details or it does not contain the details of the photo so when you guys edit you guys could not bring up the highlights or you cannot bring up the shadows it's going to be messed up while you edit so if you guys still don't get what i'm trying to say uh, just hang on uh, i'll show you guys so con uh, right now we're going to edit this picture right here and you guys might be like okay what is all this this is adobe lightroom if you guys don't know and right here on the right hand side you guys can see all this tab right here and there is a section called light and all this stuff right here and don't worry guys i'll go through that one by one don't worry let's just start off with right here light so under the light section we have exposure contrast highlight shadows whites and blacks so what does what does all of this do so basically exposure as you guys can see right there controls the brightness of your photo so exposure if you guys slide it to the left your photo gets darker if you guys slide it to the right it gets brighter that's what exposure does it's basically the photo's brightness so it depends on if you guys want to have it a darker picture go ahead slide it to the left if you guys want it to be a brighter picture slide it to the right Next, contrast. Contrast determines the contrast between light and dark colors. If you guys want to know what that means, it's basically like if you guys want your shadows to be, you know, bring up the shadows right over my head. So there's separation between my hair and my background. Just slide it to the left and you guys can see there's a separation between the background and the darker parts of the picture, which is my hair so separation between the darker parts or if you guys want it to be more like darker cinematic and stuff just slide it to the right and as you guys can see the darker parts of the video pops and that's what contrast does next is highlight highlight controls the bright brightness of the lighter parts of your photo for example my shirt this part right here and all the other lighter light bright parts of the photo so if you guys slide it to the left you guys can see my shirt and all the background just dims down gets darker 
and if you guys slide this to the right all the bright areas get brighter that's what highlight does shadow shadow is basically controls the brightness of the darker parts of your photo so it's pretty simple this is highlight this right here the part of my face where you guys can see that's light that's called highlight so if you guys see if i bring that down it basically it removes or brings down the highlight and if i bring this up this part gets brighter that what that's what highlight does shadow in the other hand as you guys can see this is shadow this part this right here it's shadow so if you guys bring that up my face gets clearer if you guys bring that down my face gets darker or the darker parts of the oops the darker parts or the shadow of the picture gets either bright or darker anyways next white sets the white point of the image just simple as that so let's say you guys can see this white 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 so if i bring this down it's basically it's like a contrast but for only white so if you guys want to bring down the white uh, and you guys you guys if you guys does if you guys don't want the bright parts to be bright like very bright and you guys want to bring it down just slide it to the left and the brighter parts of the photo gets a bit darker or if you guys want the the white parts to pop just slide it to the right and all the white parts of the picture will just pop black sets the black points of the image same goes to whites where white adjusts the white part of the image black is this is just simple as that but opposite it sets the black parts of the image so if i bring this down all the black in this image goes either dark or brighter so it depends on you guys what you guys want to do it's just same as white so before we move on let's finish up with the lights so before we start anything up let's go to a curve and you guys might be thinking what's tone curve tone curve is basically where you guys as you guys can see adjust your shadows more thorough your lights and your highlights so guys with tone curve you guys just uh, adjust as you guys want so if I move the light you guys can see the light changing in real time so just make sure it's in the perfect place and bring up the shadows a bit and maybe bring up the highlights just a bit and there you go that's how you adjust the tone curve and this is all about colors if you guys want it to be more aqua go here red go there i don't tend to mess with that because i myself have having have trouble um doing that so i don't usually mess with that oh there you go so that's it with the tone curve next up contrast like i said if you guys want to separate the background and darker parts of your picture just bring it to the left just so and our highlights mm, that should be fine shadows that should be fine white bring up the white a bit black um yeah that looks great if you guys want to do don't want to mess your picture up very bad just do subtle changes right over at the lights so that your subject and the background are separated and it's clear and you can see your subject clearly second let's go to color so temperature determines how warm or cool your color appears in the photo so Right now, my color is neutral because that's how I took this picture. But let's say if you guys took this picture in a sunny day, I would suggest bring the temperature into a cooler tone, as you guys see in the preview right there. If you guys took a picture at night and it's blue, just bring the temperature up to a warmer tone so it goes to neutral or it looks better. But right now, I'm not going to miss, miss, mess with your temperature because uh, my, my picture is perfect. 
so tint basically determines how green or purple the color appears in your photos exactly if you want to color correct your picture go ahead mess with the temperature and the tint my picture does, doesn't need a color correction so I'll just go down to vibrant vibrance changes the saturation without causing unpleasant color cast so vibrant is basically like you guys want your picture to be more vibrant or not and it doesn't like makes your picture look orange or over saturated or over colored so you should bring up your vibrance just a bit not too much and that's it second of all last of all under the color section is saturation controls the saturation of all colors equally so saturation basically just pops all the colors in your picture the blues the purples everything just makes it brighter or more colorful so first like this you guys can see every color just pops we don't want that i tend to just either bring it up a notch or bring it down slightly in this picture since it looks plain i'll just bring it up slightly and then go to the color mixer so what does a color mixer do a color mixer is basically you guys can adjust the color specifically like red orange green light green dark green aqua blue purple and magenta simple as that so right here i want to bring up the red slightly make it brighter because you guys can see there's a difference in my face you guys can see there's a difference in my face so bring it up slightly not too much and then here in the orange if you guys change this your whole skin tone will change so be careful with that so i tend to bring up the saturations and then bring up the highlight oh should i say luminous luminous is basically how if you guys want the color to be bright or dark so just bring it up just a bit so you look nice and good and then we go to the green or oh, light green lime you guys want to call and i'll just bring this down it gives it it basically turns it a bit orange or brown because if you guys bring the hue to green it looks green if you bring this to orange it looks brown so hope you guys understand and you guys can um, brighten up the luminance right here i'm going to bring this up just a bit not too much or i can just you know I'm gonna do that no green at all you guys can see right here when I adjust this it yeah it changes its effect as well so bring this down a bit um, make this a bit darker and there you go this is aqua aqua doesn't really do much if you guys have any aqua colors in the picture you guys can see a difference but right now if you guys see this where this railing right here if I Bring this here it gets a bit darker blue if i bring it to the aqua side it gets a bit of an aqua tint so that's what aqua does in some pictures but if you are wearing a aqua shirt or aqua colored shirt then you guys will know the difference so right here i'm just gonna push it to the blue um zero out the saturation maybe darken the luminance a bit and that's it and blue you guys you guys see my pants yeah so I'm, I'm gonna bring this So I'm gonna bring this here a bit so it looks the pants looks nice and then saturate them just a bit I'm 
make them look brighter and yep that should be it nope that was my mistake all right and then purple you guys can just zero out same as this zero and then that's basically it i guess for color next up is effect so texture basically enhances or reduces the appearance of texture in your photo so let's say um my face if you guys want to see my pimples if i bring out textures the details on my forehead gets enhanced if not yeah it's soft so that's what texture does clarity does the same thing it makes the highlights more clear and stuff so yeah i do say don't bring up the color clap cl right don't bring up the clarity quite high just slightly and then go back to colors luminance There you go. Um, I should bring down the shadows and the highlights. Maybe even the white. Yep. So, mm, bring down the clarity just a bit. And there you go that's what you guys have to do if you guys really don't understand um just leave a comment in the comment screen below i'll try to explain this in another video with more detail i just took these pictures today and came straight back home and editing so i've not yet written a script i'm just talking everything out of my whatever comes out of my head so sorry if i lack any explanation but yeah clarity changes the contrast around the edges of an object as you guys saw the highlights and the edges just changes and it like makes the picture pop but too much clarity makes the picture look like it's yeah that so you can have too you can have too much clarity but it does not make the picture look nice as you guys can see my teeth yeah, doesn't look nice so just bring it slightly and that's it and then the haze is basically move left to add uh simulated haze move right to remove haze so i'm i don't know if i have haze but the reason why i'm moving to the right is because i want it to be slightly darker without messing up anything so yeah and yeah it's grain grain is basically yeah this at zero no grain 100 percent grain which i don't recommend you guys using that unless if you guys know how to use grain for me i technically i don't know how to use grain so i don't mess with that but yeah i need to bring down the highlights a bit There you go all right so details this is where you guys for uh, all of you guys know sharpening if you guys don't know what sharpening is you guys have never did a photo before but since for those of you guys who don't know what sharpening is move right to sharpen the details basically that's it if you guys want it to be more detailed more sharp just bring up the sharpness and yeah, everything is like more sharp and nice. But my recommendation, don't bring it up too much. Slightly should be okay. Noise reduction, basically move right to reduce luminance noise. Which is this right here, if you guys can see. All like there's a small dot dot of grain. If you guys, yep, it gets smoother. But at the same time, your picture looks like it's painted so yeah just 
do that slightly, not too much. There we go. Colonize, move right to reduce colonize. If you guys have any color in the background, such as this, you guys can see the color right here, the noise. And if you guys reduce this, there's a slight difference, but it's noticeable. Well, go back. Then I keep clicking on that. And finally, optics. I don't really know what this does, but let's see. Reduce color fringing, most commonly found around bright lights and sharp edges. Yep. And then animal lens correction. What this? Do? What does this do? Corrects for inherent lens error. Let's just do that. Whatever it is. So. Yeah, this is just beginning. I'm just showing how you guys how to edit pictures in Lightroom, how to use Lightroom, and what does all of this means. I'm not teaching you guys how to edit how I do, right? So, if you guys click on preset, there will be different presets you guys can choose from, creative, different colors you guys can choose and play with. And even like curves, grains, which I don't recommend you guys using unless you guys know what you're doing. And sharpness and vignette. Vignette is basically like it focuses on a subject. And same as the sharp uh, grain, only use if you guys know what you're doing. I don't really recommend that. I mean, if you, you, guys, you guys can put slightly uh, vignetting, but I recommend you guys don't use vignetting at all unless you guys are really trying to focus on that one specific subject so that's basically it let me let me do my touch up my editing and I'll meet you guys back in a while okay guys and we are back this is my edit here's the before and after look cool right so if you guys want to know how I edit my pictures and how I basically color grade my pictures and photos but those are the same thing anyways if you guys want to know how i edit uh leave a comment in the comment section below and also guys a like would be much appreciated so i know that you guys want to see more and you guys want to learn how to use lightroom and how to edit pictures like me so another another thing guys before i uh, leave off on a quick tip after you guys edit and if you guys want to post to instagram i also just go to the crop factor right here the crop section and then go to aspect ratio and go to five by uh two by five oh so i say four by five because that's instagram's um aspect ratio if you guys want to post a high quality picture in instagram and doesn't don't want instagram to compress your picture crop your picture into a four by five uh format aspect ratio format and you are good to go you guys will get the exact um resolution as as exact picture on instagram if you guys don't and if you guys post it as how you guys edited just like this original instagram is going to compress that picture into a 4x5 and you're going to lose detail and your picture is going to be bad so yeah i would suggest save this first and then crop the picture so you guys have two copies one crop one not and then export one more select oh sh sorry guys please press enter and then export now you guys can export and that's basically it guys oh and also guys before i go you guys remember in the beginning i was talking about uh, raw and jpeg file so let me just show you guys for those of you who don't understand from what i told or what i what i said let me just show you guys um this is a picture of my friend that i took just now yes i know he's wearing this jacket he borrowed from me so as you guys can see same everything is exactly the same same camera same lens different focal length and all that but the file size is different it's jpeg i have the same picture with raw canon's a raw file called uh, it's called cr2 but it's this is raw and this is jpeg the difference between these two 
is you guys can see literally when I switch this looks a bit brighter and more comp like more saturated this looks more desaturated and it looks raw so this is just this picture is, con uh, is uh, containing all the details uh, or original details whereas the JPEG right here it, it compressed all that those details and just gave you a picture with the best setting that it could determine hope you guys understand um, let me put this put this straight let's say you guys take a picture right using your phone using your phone so when you take a picture it basically already give uh gives you a saturated picture nice color and everything and you guys you just go and add more saturation and stuff whereas in a raw file doesn't do that it just basically saves the picture how you took it so no extra saturation no extra post image processing nothing as in jpeg when you take a picture it goes to a post uh, image processing and all that so yeah and and another thing why i say don't use jpeg if you guys really want to have a nice color graded picture it's because you guys can see here if i go to exposure the highlight get messed up even the background so if i bring down the highlights yeah the background doesn't have details if i use the shadows you guys can see the highlight gets messed up and the background gets messed up whereas in a raw file bring up the exposure bring down the highlights bring down the shadows you guys still maintain you guys can see the difference so let's see if i want to make it darker bring up the shadows just a bit whites bring down the whites the black bring up the black same settings you guys can see the difference right that the color right here is messed up you guys can see that the sky and the clouds are basically the same color where this still contains and have details between the sky and the clouds where you guys can see the sky is still blue but the clouds it's white it's original and the face is over saturated the shirt you guys can see difference between jpeg and this this looks like a picture you get from a normal iphone or stuff and this looks this is a picture that you get with a raw file using a dslr and if you guys still does, don't believe me let's go down let's go to preset let's put matte here same thing matte you guys can see right over here that still remains this is overexposed this, that still remains then when i go to curve lift up shadows we'll go here lift up shadows you guys can see the difference right the details i know this picture is re it's, uh, really hard to show the difference but there's a slight difference you guys can see the background just look at the background the, the difference so yeah guys that's basically it for today's video hope you guys learned something today hope you guys know how to use lightroom and if you guys want to know how i edit my picture the picture right over here this picture if you guys want to know how i edit my pictures such as this please leave a comment in the comment section below i would really appreciate it and also guys leave a like that would be much appreciated and yeah guys touch in your signing off goodbye with you guys in the next video please give me any ideas what tutorial you guys want to see next hey guys see ya bye